Hello together. In this video I will show you a macro um, for Word and the version 2016 which will import your photos uh, fitted into your um, Word document uh, as small thumbnails or small pictures uh, by selection. So first I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, I have here already installed that macro and I will give you the, the code after that. Uh, when, we, when we start this macro, then you will find, uh, you will get a dialogue which says, okay, give me a selection of several uh, pictures. Maybe I take those five pictures or images. Then, then I have to say first select and then uh, go to the import button import it and as you see the size of these images will be uh, in the range of uh, to the down to the maximum these images are now uh, made by a smartphone and that's why are they are that long now when I take some other macros uh, other pictures from my standard uh, photo and the Canon when I start that going up take some others uh, like this one when we were outside <coughs> okay now when I import those files and you see uh, there's always those pictures <coughs> and there's a little space behind there go back here when you when you open that file in um, website mode then you see there's a, a space always a little break here and you may turn it around and so and so on and when you're in the uh, standard mode layout mode then you see again that there's there's uh, as they arrange and the size is uh, by maximum it's maximized yes it's maximized uh, size and now I go to um, show you the code behind uh, and I give you the code there so here we have uh, the macro uh, you, you know the macros are always here you have the uh, developer tools there that's the standard way and then we, when you go to uh, macros and say this one uh, to select or to create a new one then when I go there I have here the macro code and the macro code will be available at my download site uh, just take this one the macro and drop it into your site uh, then you have it and uh, it will work like the way that I showed you uh, yeah and a, f a further point on that is then when you have this uh, word document when you insert all that stuff and you save it as a website a website HDM then let's do it now like this one and then when you open the uh, folder where you saved the, this document <coughs> then you will find also um, here this is the word document this doc1 htm then there's also always a small uh, subfolder where all those files are and a, a little bit uh, a good stuff on on the word document is that you get all those small images uh, as a jpeg files and the other ones as png files as these are bitmaps point by point and these are the smaller one when you uh, look at this then you will see uh, the size is 55 KB kilobytes and this one is 
500. So it's uh, compressed. Those are compressed by the factor uh, 10 or 20. So you have only small pictures here, and you may imp uh, upload it for uh, for the website or that stuff. Uh, but it's anyways al always good if you uh, save that stuff as a Word document and when you want to se uh, uh, send it to this Word document to some, somebody else or in a Outlook document, then uh, you will only transport those small JPEG uh, files. So I hope I could help you with this uh, macro and download or install that macro. And if you have any que questions, then um, give me a comment on my uh, YouTube uh, video.